a story from Padang, West Sumatra, Indonesia. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Malin Kundang. He lived with his mother near the sea. His father has died a long time ago. Malin and his mother were poor, but they loved each other very much. They lived in a very simple house and wore simple clothes as well. Every day, Malin collected fish from the sea and his mother dried them on the beach and later sell them in the market. It so happened that one day Malin fell down and hurt his right hand. This felt a mark that only him and his mother would know about. Malin grew into a strong and handsome young man. He caught more and more fish every day, while his mother grew older and older. One night in the kitchen, Malin said to his mother, I want to go to the other island. What for my son? asked his mother. I want that one day I return home with a lot of money to take care of you when you are older, said Malin. Although she was worried and did not want him to go, but the mother finally walked him to the beach. My son, if you are successful and become a rich person, promise me that you will not forget your mother and also your village," said his mother. Yes, mother, I promise, said Malin, and then he left. Far and far away from home in the other island, Malin worked hard by saving his money bit by bit. Over the years, Malin bought his first boat and then a big ship. And finally, he has a lot of ships and a lot of money. When marrying a beautiful Indian princess, Malin said, I was born in a noble family. My name is Goldrich. From then on, he is known as Master Goldrich, a noble man, born from a noble family. No one knew and he never told anyone that actually he has a poor mother, an old woman who dried fish on the beach. Malin has intentionally forgotten his mother and he has also forgotten his village. Meanwhile, back in the village in a small faraway island, a mother missed her son. Oh my son, what has happened to you? Where are you now? The old woman cried as she looked at the sea. Every day, she waited at the beach while praying for her son to be safe, rich, and to grow into a good man. She wiped years after years, but there was no news about her son, never any news for her. Tired of waiting, the old woman grew weaker and weaker. Living all alone, the poor old woman is so sad, she got ill, and no one is taking care of her. One bright and sunny day, a neighbor hurried to the old woman's dying bed. 
Grandma, there is a big ship arriving at the port. The owner is a rich man named Master Goldrich, said the neighbor. Come along, Grandma. Everyone in the village is welcoming the noble Master Goldrich, she said. With great difficulty, the old woman came to the port. And when the Master Goldrich waved his hand to welcome the villagers, the woman saw the mark at his right hand. Thanks God, shot the old woman, happily. Malin, my son, has returned home to me as he promised. And then she hurried home. At home, the old woman preferred his son's papery food, steamed rice and dried peas. She put on her tattered blouse and head scarf, and then hurried back to the port. The news of his son coming home has cured her from the illness. At the port, the woman stood by the big ship and shouted, Malin, my son, welcome home. This is your mother. I bring your favorite food for you, steamed rice and dried peas. She was so glad. Her eyes were full of tears of happiness. In the meantime, on board the big ship, the princess who heard the old woman asked, My dear husband, who is that old woman wearing tattered clothes at the port? She said, She is your mother and is bringing food for you. The master Godris was ashamed that his mother is a poor woman from a fishing village. He said curtly, No, she is not my mother, and I do not come from this poor village. He went to the stand and shouted, Go away, old woman, I don't know you. Of course, this was not true. Malin has broken his promise. All of a sudden, as soon as the old woman tears touched the ground, the sky turned black and blar, 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 thunder lightning struck again, again. For the whole night, there was a pouring rain and thunderstorm. Everyone went home taking cover and no one knew what happened at the port. In the morning, the sun was shining, again it burned so brightly. But where is the big ship? Everyone was asking to one another. There was no big ship. Instead, there was a huge black rock that looked like a ship. The rock was not there last night, said one person. The ship and Master Godrich has turned into a huge black rock, said the other. That was the end of the story of Malin Kunda, who broke her promise with Ray his mother and himself.